Howdy folks. So originally this video was going to be about the enemy system, and we'll do a quick preview of that. But I got sidetracked onto another system which I'll talk about, which is the event responding system. So first let's have a quick look at an enemy. So we've got an enemy here with a patrolling movement. You can see his patrol is outlined with these red lines. Uh, he has health and various controls for his movement. He also has a stomp on head component, which means when you jump on his head, he'll take damage. So let's uh, have a look at that in action. So he's patrolling back and forth. Let's take some damage. Cool. So we've got him setting to bounce when he hits you. You can also change that. Get some more damage. And we can also damage him by stomping on his head. So let's do that. And he dies. So I will have a more detailed view of enemies when I've added some more enemy movement types. But I also wanted to take a look at another system that I've added today, which is the event responding system. So the basic idea is there's a lot of events such as characters taking damage, enemies taking damage, things moving and starting up like a lift starting up, etc, etc, and you often want to respond to these things. So what I've created is this generic response system. So if we grab one of these event responders and stick it on here, we first have to pick what object we're interested in. So let's use the character as our example. And then it'll pick up all the components on the character. So for example, if we go to character health, it then picks up all the events that are thrown by the character health object. So let's say when we get the damaged event, we want to do something. We add an action, and in this case the action we might do is play a particle effect. So I've added a little heart particle to the character here. So if we go to this event responder, we can choose from lots of different types of actions. Let's choose play particles. We have to connect it to a particle system and there we have it. So if we hit play now when we take damage we'll see a little particle system plays. And we can do that for other events as well. So let's duplicate the event responder. This time let's respond to death. And we'll play an audio source. So I've just got a very simple noise here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it with my recording volume or not. Hopefully you can. Let's try it out. So when the character dies, we're going to play audio. And there we have it. 